So welcome to the How to Increase Your Impact and Income Masterclass. I'm super excited to be bringing this back again. It started in 2020 and it was such a big hit and I had multiple rounds of it and it was so awesome. So I'm really excited to get into this tonight and to get some energy into the group. I'd love to hear in the chat and I'll mute some people so we'll have clear audio for the recording what you're grateful for. So just list a couple things in the chat to start getting in this gratitude energy. Gratitude attracts awesome things. So what are you grateful for today? And it could just be that the technology is finally working. I am particularly grateful that the technology is finally working with us. And that hopefully Facebook live to zoom link is looking good to go for all the other people who are messaging me. <laughs> okay so i think being live streamed yay awesome so welcome to all the facebook viewers as well <laughs> to the how to increase your impact and income masterclass. I'm Laura McPhee, and I'm super excited to be doing this. We were not originally planning on streaming to Facebook Live, so it will be a limited time that it's available on Facebook. Um, but we're in Mercury Retrograde, and people were like, the technology is not working. The Zoom link isn't letting me in. So we had to shift on the fly. And we're all here together, and we're getting it started with some gratitude. So whether you're here live in the Zoom room, which if you don't know how to do it, you can keep private messaging me and I'm getting my VA to support um, on that side, getting people into this Zoom room. Um, but in the meantime, Facebook Live is an awesome resource that we'll just use to support us. So gratitudes. I am grateful for rain and that my daughter's wedding went well. I love that. I'd love to hear some other gratitudes. And I also will be checking on my Facebook feed now that we are including Facebook. I have myself on here so that we can kind of check in on the Facebook people as we go. So I'd also love to know where people are at in the world. That's a super fun thing to know, like the worldwide reach that this gets to be in, in this little Zoom room and all the humans that are joining us live. So feel free to pop that into the chat and be engaged. The more energy you bring to this, the more you'll get out of it. So have some notes, have that stuff ready so that we can get really deep into this and you can have the fucking impact in the world that your heart is desiring and have the income that matches it because your heart's desires are for you. And if you're desiring your next income level, the pathway to it is there as well. What our heart's desires are for us and the path to it was actually given to us when we chose to incarnate here, which is super fun. And we'll get into the inspired action steps as a whole section as we get deeper into this. Kittens, I love my kittens, yay. Oh my gosh, your kittens are so cute. I love seeing your kittens. <laughs> awesome, okay. So in this masterclass, we're gonna cover the main gaps that I see lightworkers, coaches, healers struggle with the biggest ones that are the most common so we can clear, release, and let go of those. We're going to do some healings and clearings during this call. Um, and we're also going to share towards the end an invitation for some next steps. If you're like, oh my gosh, this is everything that I've needed and more, and you want the next steps. So we'll do lots of healing energy and I'll open it up at the very end for some questions. If you have some personal questions, if you're like, I don't understand this part, you can definitely write it down or even like put it in the chat and I'll either write it down so that I remember it or like copy it so that I get it um, during the Q&A portion at the end. So the six most common gaps that I see coaches, healers, heart-centered entrepreneurs face over and over and over again is their unconscious limiting belief systems, visibility and throat chakra blocks, unhealthy money mindset, unharmonized masculine and feminine energies, having really outdated boundaries or not wanting to communicate the boundaries that they have kind of coming to the surface for them right now. Um, and then not doing <laughs> the conscious 3D work and inspired action. And I like that I'm already getting head nods in agreement. It's like, yep, we need to be doing these things. A hundred percent. So we're going to go deeper into all of that. And then another gratitude I'm for 
figure my new Samsung Galaxy S22 and my new table S8. I'm not techie. <laughs> and grateful for quantum impact call. Very cool. Awesome. Love the gratitudes. Thank you for sharing them. So because we kind of had that techie thing, let's kind of ground us in here. I love to start like my paid calls with some pleasure first for people who are familiar with the erotic blueprint world with some ground, grounding energy, tuning into that kind of stuff. So we'll do a couple minute practice just to ground into this space. So I invite you to close your eyes. Take some deep cleansing breaths. And just scan your body from the top of your head down. Just noticing where you're at in this present moment. And with every breath, you can release some more tension. Let your shoulders drop. You might want to stretch, relax your jaw, relax your anus. <sighs> Just letting your body relax and ground into your chair. And once you've finished with your scan and some of those relaxing breaths, I invite you to bring some intentionality in with your breathing. So on your inhale, imagine that you're inhaling bright, white, light, unconditionally loving energy from Mother Earth in through your feet, up your legs, up your spine, through all your chakras, and coming out the top of your head and pouring in an overflow over you. So every inhale, you're visualizing this energy entering your body, filling you up. And every exhale, bring in this intention of gratitude for what you're desiring to receive. So you're here to increase your impact and income. What is that for you? What dollar amount of income? And can you be in a state of receiving that next level? If that's your next thousand dollar package or 5k month, Whatever your next desire is, can you really feel in your body gratitude for it already being here, letting yourself visualize on that exhale that you have it. Inhaling that unconditional love on whatever speed feels good for you to be breathing right now. Exhaling, feeling gratitude for your next goal being achieved already. And you can also be in a state of gratitude for all the souls you're going to impact in the world, the transformations you're going to have with your future clients, really feeling into it's already happened. And other emotions can come up. You can be so excited or really happy or thrilled or just have your heart being overflowed with all the positive waves of change that you're getting to create and that you have created. And if that's feeling good for you, you can stay at this space with the simplicity of the inhale and the exhale with the intention. And if you'd like to add in another feature, I invite you to play with your pelvic floor muscles. So on every inhale, 
also contract your pelvic floor, bringing that unconditional love fully into your body. And on your exhale, you're releasing your pelvic floor muscles. So if you're doing like Kegels or the feeling of like stopping pee, that's your pelvic floor. So you can add with that inhalation, contracting, tightening your pelvic floor and relaxing it, releasing it completely on your exhale. And you can stay with that intention, receiving unconditional love from Mother Earth. Exhaling, being in a state of gratitude. <sighs> and our brains don't know the difference between a memory or a visualization. So just really let yourself play bigger and bigger with these visualizations. What's it going to feel like to get your next ideal client at your new rates? Can you feel that in your body? Celebrate it and feel grateful for it. And what else are you desiring? What can you be so grateful for in this present moment? And you can stay with this practice exactly how it is. If your pelvic floor is getting tired, you can release that at any point in time. You can also bring things in and take them away and just flow with whatever is most pleasurable for your body in this moment. But if you are called to adding another piece in or just playing with it, just exploring it in this moment, you can bring some feeding to your body. So for those of you who do know erotic blueprint language, you can feed your sensual with caressing touch or massaging touch. You can feed your energetic with super light, 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 slow touch or touch that's not even touching your body. That's just playing with your energy field around you. So you can start with some of those touches, adding it into the breath, to receiving unconditional love from Mother Earth, being and feeling grateful for what's in your heart as your desires. Feeling into it gets to be here now. That feels like a little bit too much of a stretch for you. You can be grateful that it'll be here so soon. Just playing with these pieces, finding what's most pleasurable for you, what feeds and nourishes you the most right now. Can you integrate your breath with it even more deeply? Do you want to add sound to it? Vibration of moans or sighs? Does that increase the pleasure? Hmm. And before we close in about a minute for now, you can just completely play and explore with all of those pieces. You can add all of them together at the same time. You can just be playing with one, with two at a time. Just really tune into what's the most pleasurable for you, tuning into your body, your unique desire in this moment. <sighs> Ah, 
you can even ask yourself, how can this be even more pleasurable? Hmm. Just following that guidance, your body is so, so wise. And then as you're feeling ready to close, we can ground and anchor this into your body. So you might want to put your hands on your heart or on your root or wherever you're feeling most called to anchor this in. You might also want to anchor it in with a word. The word might come through, it might be love or impact, desire, whatever you're called to anchor it in with. Hmm. And then when you're ready, you can come back into the room, open your eyes. I'd love to hear in the chat a couple words. How's your body feeling now? We did a baseline scan at the beginning. If you tune in now, how are you feeling just with that practice? Hmm. And if you're feeling like, woo, lots of energy moving, you can also like intentionally move the energy down, ground it into your feet, into Mother Earth. Drink some water if that feels good. Calmer, more centered, beautiful. Thank you for sharing. So good. My body's feeling really relaxed and peaceful. Mm, thank you, that feels so good. Grounded, mm, awesome. Thank you all for sharing. And I do really want to encourage you, even if you're on the replay of this, like be active in this because the universe matches your energy. So if you're so fucking excited to increase your impact and income, be so fucking into this, like write notes, type in the chat when I ask questions, when you have questions yourself and you are like, talk more about that. Or, oh, I have a like limiting belief system around that, that I also want to get cleared, totally engage. And the universe will meet you in that energy. So you have total free will and choice. And I encourage you to really show up like this thing is going to fucking support your business and your life so fucking much. Hmm. Okay. So because I was so excited to get into the pleasure first and all the things I didn't say who I am yet. So I am Laura McPhee. A lot of you on live are already familiar with me, but there are people who are new to me who've signed up and will be getting just the replay. So I am a joyful goddess, sex goddess queen, a speaker, healer, coach, and I love supporting other coaches and healers and heart-centered entrepreneurs to have the increased impact and income and pleasure that they desire to have in the world, that they get to fully and completely be themselves and be the change that they wish to see in the world. So I'm super excited to be offering this masterclass. I have so many different certifications and background. I am celebrating this month, May, my five years full-time in business, which is super fucking exciting. Um, I crossed six figures back in 2020, which is exactly at the same time that this was launching for the first time. This has launched several times the masterclass and also the program that I'm going to share a little bit about towards the end. Um, I'm a master Reiki practitioner, so I love to do the body releases in here. So we'll get a little bit into that in the throat chakra portion of the agenda today. So I'm really good at feeling into exactly where the blocks are in people and clearing them out. I'm also a theta healer. So I work in the unconscious belief systems that are holding us back because that's depending on who you ask 90 to 95% of what's going on in our brains completely unconscious. So working on those deep roots of where those limiting belief systems stems from and clearing those out so that it literally releases everything else attached to it 
has been so helpful in my business, so helpful in my clients' businesses. So I use that tool so much. I'm also clear cognizant. So I just get like downloads for people's stuff. Like I literally just know things. Um, so I'll definitely be adding that in, which is why I encourage engagement and questions. Cause sometimes I'm just like, I say things and I'm like, don't know how I know it, know it. Cause I'm clear cognizant and I'm just kind of a channel for that. Um, so that's an awesome superpower. I'm a reflector in human design. So if you're not familiar with human design, there's four types, generators, manifesting generators, projectors, um, and reflectors. So I am the 1% who chose to incarnate as a reflector, which means all of my centers are open. The other 99 types, 99% of people, the other four, the other three types have different blocks within their channels. So if you do know what your human design type is, you can even put that in the chat and it's super fun to be like, Ooh, this is how this can specifically work for you and your human design type. If you don't know it, it's not a big deal. You can also Google that later if you're like, ooh, I'm curious about human design now and I love personality typing and human typing. <laughs> so the other ones, if you see your graph of what your like free human design chart looks like, it has centers that are blocked. So in my chart, all of my centers are completely open. So I am a literal mirror for other humans, which is awesome that my soul is here to work with lightworkers because I mirror lightworkers and I amplify them exponentially. So when you're in my presence, you get to feel what it's like to have those centers open. Plus I get to amplify all the things within you. So that little thing, that blind spot that you weren't totally sure, like where the fuck is my next missing piece, this gap that I don't know of, I'm able to find that and zone in on it really good. And then all of your amazing superpowers, I'm able to support you in amplifying that out into the world, which is also super, super fun. So I also have the conscious pieces. So I talked a little bit about the subconscious with the theta healing and clearing those things. I also love the conscious pieces. I've been in the Tony Robbins world since 2015. So I'm also all about the masculine structure that supports things, the conscious 3D work that we need to do as humans to make this work. So we'll talk about that in the agenda as well when we get into doing the 3D work in your inspired action steps, which is super fun. Um, so I'm a master university grad in that world. There's so many different things. I'm a erotic blueprint coach as well. So I have the pleasure side of it, the sexuality side. I've been mentoring with Jaya for the past two years, like so many different things. I'm an accelerated evolution person as well. So many things. I used to be an accountant as well, which also plays into some of the money mindset pieces and the 3D work, like doing templates, making sure that your business has the structure to be financially successful and sustainable long-term. Um, so that's a little bit about me. If you have any questions about any of those things, <laughs> I can also answer those later. Awesome. Monique is a manifesting generator and I love you. And I love that you were able to get on. And I apologize again for the techie glitch or the mercury retrograde thing that was going on with so many people's links, but it looks like everyone's getting on now, which is awesome. Ooh, another manifesting generator, generator, manifester. Ooh, okay, good. We have lots of that vibes in the room tonight. I'm so excited to support them. Mm, so good because like you guys are also really great at like choosing like, Hey, I'm going to get this thing and just like going for it and it working like manifesting generators are super fucking powerful. So we'll definitely get into some healings that'll support you guys with your types. Mm, I'm so excited. Okay. So let's jump into subconscious limiting beliefs and just clear some off because Sometimes people will get into my world and they have so many like unconscious programs and stories and things that are looping and like kind of energy draining to them that is just holding them back. So let's just clear some stuff right off the bat. And I also love doing these masterclasses um, live because I tune into everyone's energy to be like, what is going to serve and support you so much? So I literally have lost track of how many, how to increase your impact and income versions of this I've done. And even though we do the structure of like, this is the agenda, we're going to go over these six main gaps. I do tune into the energy of what's up for everyone. So all the master classes are a little bit different. They have a little bit different downloads. Like I'm not reading from a script where it's like, we're going to clear this next, we're going to do this next. So I am going to be doing a couple more of these live during the next couple of weeks. So if you want to come to more of them, it'll keep going deeper and deeper into whatever showing up for you and the collective group 
who's live and on the replay. So it'll keep going deeper and deeper into the layers of the like limiting belief systems that are showing up. So just to start us off, do you want to clear, release, and let go of all the stress, worry, financial concern, frustration, heaviness, sadness, grief around your business not quite being where you are desiring it, expecting it, wanting, needing it to be at right now? Do you want to release and let go of all that heavy energy, all that old baggage, all that junk? And if you'd like to release that, you can say yes. And if you're brand new to Theta Healing, all you have to do to receive is say yes. Some people like to like breathe. You might feel energy moving or feel like different heat or like tingles. Sometimes people don't feel that at all. So if you do feel something, that's totally normal. If you don't, that's totally normal too. Awesome. Yes. And I also love seeing the S's in the chat too. So that's awesome. And if you're on the Facebook replay or live on Facebook right now, I'll also tune in to you guys in a couple minutes too. So what else is coming? Okay. This kind of like leads us beautifully into, um, visibility and throat chakra blocks. So if you are not posting online, like you think you should, or like your coach has told you in the past or is currently telling you to do, and you're like, mm, I'm afraid because what are people going to think about me? And I'm going to be judged. And like my family's on there and like constriction, hiding, procrastinating, stuff like that. That is super common. You as a human, do not want to be rejected. You don't want to be judged because we have back in our reptilian brain, which yay, we're still alive. Like that has this, like an awesome service to us. Like having that like cavemen survival mechanism means that you've lived up until this point. So yay, we can celebrate that we have an awesome body. It has made us live up until this point its job has not been for us to live happy or be thriving or living our best lives or being financially free and having the laptop lifestyle that we desire. Like that's not its job. Its job is to keep you alive. So back when we were cavemen and we had a community of a couple hundred people, you needed to belong to that community because you did not have enough time or energy in the run of your day or week to get all the food, plan for winter, watch for animals to like not kill you at night or like other tribes or communities to come get you like making the clothes, taking care of the people. Like you did not have enough as one person to do all the things. So we still have in our human bodies, belief systems that it's really bad to get rejected, to be abandoned, to be ostracized, to be prosecuted. So it's super normal that this comes up, that you have a visibility block of some kind where you're worried or you're nervous or you're afraid of judgments or you have had haters and you're like, oh, I don't want to put myself out there again. Or you've had like vulnerability hanger hangovers of sharing something super vulnerable and it not being taken super well or people like knowing stuff about you that you didn't really want them to know stuff about you. There can be so many pieces that are attached just to that. So one, that's normal. You're totally fine. So many people resonate with that. And you get to release that. You get to clear any throat chakra blocks that are coming up for you so that you can speak your truth and that you can expand in a safe way. So you're not just like, ah, doing the thing and then being like, oh my God, that was terrible. And like ridiculously contract and then like hide. And sometimes people do that. Sometimes people share or feel like they even overshare. And then they're like, I posted something and then I don't want to post for months or weeks or whatever, fill in the blank time. Cause that was super scary. So what is more supportive for us to do is to grow our capacity and then hold it. So if you like kind of the metaphor of like growing in sustainable amounts, it'd be healing, doing the thing having that little bit of like wobble, a little bit of contraction and then maintaining it, holding it. So it's like the best, so our comfort zone, like if you think of the circle that people have totally put on a million memes of like growing outside your comfort zone, growing incrementally in inspired action baby steps outside your comfort zone, doing whatever healing and inner work you need to do, doing a thing that'll integrate it and embody it by actually going up there doing a Facebook live, doing a webinar, going on other people's podcasts, whatever your block is at this stage that you're at in your business, doing the thing and then holding it. 
So you can still have that like human wobble and like things come up. But what I really love supporting myself and my clients and doing is expanding, having that little bit of like contraction or wobble and holding it, expanding and holding it, expanding and holding it. Because unfortunately, even in the coaching world, there have been many stories where it's like you expand and have this awesome new peak and then you go lower than you were before. And then people are like, I don't want to do that thing because that was fucking terrifying. And now I feel worse than I did before I tried it. And like I expanded so much and then I contracted and it hurt. And now I'm like at zero and it sucks. So we'll do some throat chakra clearings on this because I'm feeling like that'll be really supportive for this group. Um, but does that help everyone? Do you want to like thumbs up that like, oh, okay, like I can expand and do that instead of the huge expansion and contraction and the stories that are in the coaching world are even like, yeah, awesome. So stories in the coaching world are like, I was addicted to X, Y, Z thing or drunk on the bathroom floor and hit my new low to get my new high. I went bankrupt. I was on my sister brother's film blank relatives couch going bankrupt worst debt ever and then I became a millionaire like there's so many of those things of like you need to have a new low to get a new high and we don't have to choose that that doesn't need to be our story we can choose something differently yes 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 awesome okay love that it's resonating with people so if you want to tune in to your throat specifically so you can just close your eyes feel into this, notice like what around this has been like, uh, like totally resonating with you. If you've been scared, just like say your new rates or do your next live or webinar or ask to be on someone's podcast, whatever it is, just like feeling into like whatever junk, so to speak, is like showing up in your throat chakra right now. And you can simply just notice it, notice what color it is. Notice how much space it's taking up in your throat right now. And feel into the emotion that's attached to it. Noticing any body sensation with it. And if you could touch this old, old energy in your throat, what kind of temperature does it have? And what kind of texture does it have? And then we're going to safely move that old energy outside your body and just place it in front of you through your higher power. And fill up that space where it used to live with unconditional love and healing energy. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And now that this energy is safely outside your body without any connection to you, we're going to ask it a question and just allow the first thought, first feeling to come through. And you can ask it, what were you trying to teach me? And if you want to, you can put that in the chat, what that old energy has been trying to teach you. If you want to keep it private, you can also do that too. It's totally your choice. So do you want to know what it looks like and feels like through your higher power to mark this lesson as complete now? that you can clear, release, and let go of any and all trauma, soul trauma, frozen energy, stuck energy around this, and that we can clear it completely in all levels, resolving it in a history level as well, <sighs> and cutting any and all cords, contracts, vows, commitments, bonds, oaths, and obligations to that or other similar frequency lessons, that all of those can also be cleared for me now. And if you'd like that, you can say yes.
and you want to forgive yourself completely on all less on all levels for learning any and all of these lessons the quote hard way and also to forgive anyone else who is an actor on your stage who played any kind of role or responsibility in you learning this lesson the quote hard or painful way and if you'd like to clear that you can say yes And just breathe as those are releasing out. And we can transmute that old, old energy into unconditional love and have your higher power send it out into the ether and fill up every cell of your body with unconditional love and healing energy. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And then you can tune back into your throat, feeling into that space where that energy used to live. And notice how that's feeling for you now. And if you wanna pop in the chat, how's that feeling for you now? Just like a word or two, whatever you feel called to sharing. Sometimes it feels lighter or more open, just better or warm. Sometimes there's like still like tingles of like the energy is still moving and making its way in this like new kind of space. But I'm curious, how's that feeling in everyone's bodies? Hmm. And sometimes that layer is better. And then you're like, oh, and you have this, there's this thing on the other side of my throat or like, oh, there's something like even deeper. There's like layers of it sometimes. Feeling lighter in your throat. Yay, beautiful, celebrating that. Great job releasing. So there can be so many things around like feeling more safe to be seen. Um, allowing yourself to shine your light without fear of prosecution. There's so many layers of that. So I'll just like seed for now that we can go deeper into that into the course and on future masterclasses. If you guys like keep showing up, we'll keep doing deeper clearings on things. So there's definitely more to clear here. It tends to be a lifetime journey. There's never a point where you're just like, I'm totally good being fully seen by all the people at all the times and all the like levels of my personal growth and development journey. They're tends to be layers and layers and layers of these onions okay definitely tingling energy moving lighter of course beautiful feeling a deeper layer moving up for sure beautiful i love that you're like yep that layer is gone let's go to the next one <laughs> awesome so some other like limiting beliefs that were even coming up in people's bodies like not in your throat but in like some other spaces where like there's some stuff around like savior complex coming up like some codependent vibes with some people, some like, I need to save and fix all the people all the time. Like there's some limiting beliefs around that that are even in the space. So um, if we have some time at the end, we'll go even deeper into like other body blocks, other limiting belief systems that are showing up. But I know that a lot of you wanna make more money. So let's get into the up-leveled money mindset that you can have. So the feeling that I'm getting that is like the most important for this group of humans who are watching now or on the replay is there's this like cap on people. So yes, increasing your rates is awesome. But sometimes if we increase our rates, but we still have this like energetic cap, some people call it a glass ceiling, especially for women, we tend to be like, oh, I'm fighting against this glass ceiling. It's like, you don't have to break the glass ceiling. You could just be like, I can move through that or that doesn't need to exist. That's an illusion. I can just let that story go. So we'll do some work in the space of releasing that. That feels like the most kind of like prominent piece for everyone going on here. Um, 
And you can even like tune into that yourself being like, what is the most amount of money I've let myself receive in a month? You might have a cap on that. What's the highest package that you've allowed yourself to receive that money for either pay in full or in installments. There can be all these little caps or like, like blocks where it's like, I can let it be this good, but then, or there's like a punishment. Sometimes people even have like another shoe dropping where it's like, when my business is going really well, my relationships are shitty or I'm single or I get in fights with people. Like sometimes there's this like other shoe or like a tit for tat energy um, with people coming up with their capacity to receive and have more money in their business. So we'll do some healings for sure on releasing that like glass ceiling, that cap that's coming up for you. But I do want to talk about the importance of allowing yourself to have practices that let you receive more money. And because I know a lot of you on here are also like very into the pleasure world and the sexuality space, you can play with it in that world and be like, okay, can I receive five minutes more of pleasure in my solo pleasure practice or with a partner? Um, I've noticed with a lot of my clients, especially female clients, they'll have this like cap in the bedroom. And when they release that the fun way in the bedroom, it tends to release and let go of itself over here with their money as well. Cause they're like, oh yeah, I'm able to receive five more minutes, 10 more minutes of my partner going down on me of me being the sole recipient of pleasure. Okay. I get to expand my capacity to receive more. And then on this side with their money, they're like, oh yeah, I can totally allow my clients to pay me more to allow the universe to let more pathways of abundance, more income stream come into my world or larger income streams enter into my world. So that's really fun, practical piece that you can do that if you're like, hmm, I'm a seeker. I love doing all the personal development things all the time. And it tends to be really fun to do it in pleasurable ways, especially when like you can have a bunch of orgasms with it. It's like, oh, that's really fun. I'll have like more orgasms and be able to like open to receive more money. So when I asked you what your cap might be, what that like tipping point, what that glass ceiling might be for you, if you had a specific number come to mind, or you can just like really think of one now, feel into one, it might just be like, oh, like it tends to be this range. And I only really let myself receive this or the amount of money that you let yourself receive in a year. Just like tune in to whatever cap feels most prominent for you right now. And you might even want to muscle test it. Um, another really cool tool within the space of tools that I have because I have a million four of them um, is muscle testing. So if you don't know how to muscle test, super quick and dirty way to do it, you can put your thumb and finger together and use your other fingers kind of as like pliers. You can say yes and pull. So go like this, it'll stay strong. Or you can say my name is, my name is Laura, it stays strong. And then if I say no, it weakens. So I could get deeper into muscle testing and how it works. You can just trust it. Or you can do the standing up muscle testing where if you're standing in your center, you can say yes, notice your body going forward. If you say no, might notice your body moving backwards. So you can literally play and muscle test. I'm able to receive X dollar amount or the limiter, the glass ceiling I have is this amount. So you can literally like play with it and be like the most amount of money I'm available to receive from a client is hundred K. So for me, that's mine. You can play with like different number of bounds to be like, Ooh, where's my unconscious, which is 90 to 95% currently leaving. I can play in. I find the standing easier for me. Awesome. Yeah, totally. You can use the standing muscle testing. So if you guys have that cap in mind where you're like, oh, with my income, with my monthly or yearly or with your private packages or whatever you're offering, whatever way you're showing up in your business, if you have that kind of dollar amount in mind, we'll just play with that for a little while. Hmm. So do you want to clear, release, and let go of this cap, this limiter, this glass ceiling, these belief systems that you can't have anymore, that you don't deserve it, that you're not worthy of it, that it's not safe. And if you'd like to release those, you can say yes. Yes. 
And you want to know through your higher power what it looks like and feels like for you to receive even more, for you to receive double that amount, for you to expand and feel safe in tripling that amount, that you know what it looks like and feels like for that amount to expand and grow and to continue to have incremental or massive quantum leaps that you can allow your body and your nervous system to ingrain safety into that increased number, that you can allow this new number and there might be a new number coming to your mind, or it just might be like, ooh, like it's definitely bigger, don't know exactly what it is or like a range that you might be feeling. Do you wanna know that that's safe for you to receive? That it's time for you to receive it, that you're more than worthy and deserving of it now. And that you'll know what your life looks like, what your business, what your relationships to other humans and clients will look like and feel like when you are able to fully and completely receive this new amount in your business, in your savings, in your bank account, in wherever it was that you can allow this money to circulate and flow into your world. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And you want to clear release and let go of any and all identifiers that you've had around money that have been unhelpful or even hurtful to yourself around stories that you've said around yourself, that you're broke, that you can't do this, that you're only this type of coach, like that you're not a, like that you say, I'm not a six figure coach, or I am this, or I'm not that, like anything that's been negatively attached to you as your identity or that you have identified or other people have identified to your business. It's like, it's a failure. It's not working. It's a mistake. Like there's something wrong here. Like whatever the negative stories are around it, do you want to clear release and let go of the charges around that, the hurt, the pain or suffering, sadness, grief around that, that all that junk, negative emotions, negative energies can be released from that completely at all levels. And you also want to clear, release, and let go of any and all contracts, cut any cords, release any vows of poverty, vows in general, obligations, burdens, or curses around this. And if you'd like to clear all of those, you can say yes. Just breathe. This is like really big for some of you. Just like use your breath. I'm going to like ah, heavily exhale, shake it off. Whatever feels good to move this energy. Ah. Slush it off yourself. Whatever feels good. Ah. Okay, that feels a lot lighter. Beautiful. So now you can muscle test your higher amount or just something that's $10 more, 10K more, whatever you are playing with, whatever like values you're in. Has that gone up for everyone? Has your ceiling moved? And yes, we can live without a ceiling. And right now we're just going to play with in this last couple minutes. How has that shifted for you? Three to 6K a month, beautiful, yay. And then 5K a month came in earlier, awesome. And there's nothing good or bad here. Like I really don't want anyone to be like, people who are six and seven figures are better or more spiritual or whatever. Like everyone has their own unique path on this amazing human journey that we're all on together. And we get to be in our lanes and be like, my soul feels called to this, this level of income, this type of lifestyle. And you get to have what your heart desires without comparing yourself to others or judging yourself as better or less than like, you just get to be you. 
and keep being more of you, more fully in alignment with your heart's desires and what you know you're here to do as a soul on this earth, be in alignment fully with your mission. So awesome. Went from 5k to 15k. (laughs) I am so fucking excited for you. Awesome. So doing this kind of work to be like, okay, now I get to expand it. So similar to how we were talking about the comfort zone earlier, you get to expand, have some like human experience here, ingrain it, implement it into your world, hold it, be able to hold this new level of yourself and then expand again and play the little game and do it again and again and again. And it gets to keep getting better and better and better. And you're like, I'm fucking living my dream life. This is so awesome. In that it doesn't have to have other consequences or sacrifices on the other side, which kind of moves us into the next piece of people who have like hyper masculine energy who are in like super hustle culture, or like have heard a lot of like bro marketing or bro coaches who are like, just like fucking wake up at five o'clock and work for 20 hours a day and make this fucking side hustle real thing until you get money. Like very hyper masculine energy and even like toxic things that it's like that leads to burnout that leads to like disease within our human bodies like our bodies most of our bodies and most of the people who are attracted to me and my work in the world are not really configured to go at the like do 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 go 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 hyper masculine energy speed of things what tends to work for us is when we harmonize in our divine masculine and our divine feminine so that they work together instead of being like it's black and white it's all this or all that, like we get to choose in any single moment in our life or in our business, how do I want to be operating right now? And you can bring more consciousness to it being like, okay, I'm going into a sales call. I want to be more in my masculine energy. So that I have the structure I'm holding my client. And then we're going to have intuitive flow with like what they bring up, what I'm going to say back in return, like having the metaphor, for example, of like the structure being a riverbank and the flow being the water. So like having structure in your business, that's like, cool, money can flow here (laughs) in a bunch of different ways in a private client or group or wherever you're at in the way that you offer your courses, your products, your services, your sessions that you get to like structure and be like, okay, how can I create the structure in a healthy way in my business to serve and support me and my clients and then having your divine feminine and this isn't like women have to be more feminine. Men have to be more masculine. Like if we get into more like the yin and yang energy, they work together. There's a harmony with them. And there's not like one good, one bad of like 50, 50 all the time. That's why I don't say balanced. I use harmonized because there's not really anything that's like hundred percent balanced 24 seven for the rest of our lives. Like balance isn't technically real. <laughs> If you were like 50, 50, 50 each time, that wouldn't necessarily be like the thing that's the best for you. Um, And I really like the metaphor of this being like smoothies in the kitchen. On different days, my body wants different things. So I can be like, okay, I want a little bit more sweet today, or I want a little bit more greens today. I get to like play with it. So you and your business and in your day-to-day life, you get to play with, okay, I want to add in a little bit more feminine energy today. Okay. I want to add in a lot more mass and structure to this next thing that I'm doing. And you get to play with it. So it's like, maybe you're 90, 10 masculine feminine one day and 60, 40, the next hour. And you get to keep moving and flowing with it instead of what we tend to see, which is like the more extreme of like one way or the other. Um, And then some people who get really into like the divine feminine side of things, they're like so lean back in their business that they're almost like couch potato manifestors being like, I'm just going to visualize and self-pleasure all day long. And that's going to make my business grow. And it's like, no, you actually have to like talk to other humans and like make some posts, do a webinar, offer things to the world so that it actually works. So there's also sometimes this other extreme and I have gone on that journey. I went from like super hyper masculine energy. I was in the corporate world. I'm an ex accountant, hyper, hyper masculine energy, go, go, go do, do, do all the fucking time. Even the first year of my business, it was like, you need to post five posts a day and do all the things like a lot of fucking do, do, do energy. That was exhausting and kind of leads to burnout. So then I swung to the other side of like super feminine of just like take time off and take weeks off at a time and travel and just enjoy the fuck out of life and like have sex all the time. And like, 
then I married them together. I harmonized them together to be like, okay, in this moment, what works? And there's a lot of mess in this. Like, there's not like, oh, I'm just going to decide that I need to be 60, 40 in this moment. And that's perfect. And that's hundred percent. Like we don't get graded like we did back in school. And I know for all of our good girls and the high achievers in the room are like, no, but we want to get like A pluses and 110%, like, and the pats on the back that we're such like smart humans that are awesome. That doesn't exist. So we get to like play in the messiness of it and be okay that sometimes we'll go to some extremes. We'll be like, oh, okay. And instead of making ourselves bad or wrong or considering it a failure, we get to view it as just learning data. And that was a big thing on my journey after I went super feminine, divine feminine, just free flowing, la 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 energy. I had to like input masculine back in and I had to heal those layers where I was like, ooh, like I don't trust parts of my masculine within myself. Don't trust it in the outside world. The masculine energy is money energy. Money loves structure. So like healing those pieces and parts allowed me to keep playing with it so that I'd have a harmony that worked for me in my business. And just to like give everyone a heads up, sometimes it sucks to be in that testing phase, to be like, oh, I made a smoothie and it tastes really weird. <laughs> okay, that's learning data. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit more of this ingredient next time. Okay. I went a little bit too far on the masculine side again. And if I look back at my week, I didn't get quite as much sleep as I wanted to. And I didn't work out. And okay, so then can I add in more of my feminine pieces, more of my self-care pieces and finding what actually works for you and letting yourself be in this like container of play space where you're like, there's nothing wrong. There's no failures here. I'm just going to like play and explore and have an adventure with myself to find what unique harmony works for me in this moment today and this next project I'm doing that you can play with it like that so is that resonating with people does that make sense but like the harmony and how to move forward with it awesome <laughs> so good um and I do have notes so I want to make sure that we're getting all of the awesomeness in here um so the next piece that is so 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 important is up leveling our boundaries as we up level as business owners, as practitioners, because sometimes we're still operating from our people pleaser or codependent side, or from like, oh, I just like, I need money. Like, I need to get the fuck out of my nine to five job and I need this to work. So I'm willing to be available 24 seven and basically have my calendar open ridiculously and let my clients email me on the weekend and just like that will drain you. Having zero out boundaries will lead to burnout. It is not supportive for you nor your clients for you to burn out. We're here to be bright, shiny, awesome humans in the world who are embodiments of the healthy things and then get to support our clients with it and not like make ourselves bad, wrong, imposters or hypocrites if one week we sleep a little bit less because we were launching our business or the next like offer in your business. Like we get to keep learning, healing, growing, evolving, and expanding, and have really awesome boundaries. So what I tend to see for people who are earlier on their journey is that they're willing to bend over backwards for their clients, or when they're raising their rates, they're like, oh, I feel like I should like be super available to this person because they're now paying me a thousand dollars or multiple thousands of dollars to work with me privately. So like, I feel bad not replying to them immediately or on the weekends or on holidays, but you having those firm boundaries and you having that structure makes it safer for everyone and ensures that you will be healthy long-term and that you'll be able to support your clients along their journey as well. So a big thing that I recommend people don't do is offer like 24 seven WhatsApp, Voxer, email support, because that tends to burn people out. So your next level boundary might be I offer WhatsApp support that will get back to you within 24 hours during Monday to Friday. So then you don't have people who are expecting like five hour reply times and like wanting to have talks with you back and forth. You can also be super clear around this is what it'll look like. An email will look like a couple sentences of you letting me know how your homework went or a voice note will be maximum three minutes. If you're doing a Facebook group, 
the videos will be between two to five to 10 minutes, like whatever your particular boundary is for yourself and the amount of people that you're serving and what your bandwidth and capacity is within your business. Having all of those pieces of strong boundaries will allow you to have a sustainable business that you love. Because I've been in a ton of rooms with six, multiple six, seven figure people even who are burning the fuck out and like hate their businesses and they are resenting it. And they're like, I can't grow anymore. They're like, I just sold these packages and I basically gave people flaxes to me and gave them like emergency calls as if like, there's very, very, very few things that are like true, true, true emergencies, but they just like gave people like emergency access to them. And now they're just like, everything feels like an emergency. And these people are draining my energy and I kind of want to burn my business down, but I have contracts signed with them. Like I've heard horror stories <laughs> of people not having good boundaries. So I really, really, really implore you to look at, okay, even if you're like, I really need to make some money right now, how can you still do it in a way that you can be thinking of how this is going to impact your business a month from now, six months from now, a year from now. And that's something that I really emphasize with all of my clients that they not only think of like, okay, what's your year goal with your money? What's your month goal? And then what are the amount of like client hours that you're actually putting into this? And I even have templates in this course that I do. Like, I want you to be so clear of, okay, this is how I can sustainably run my business instead of, I was just so short-sighted that I basically offered so many people so much access to me and I didn't have good boundaries. And then you're six months into it and you're like, well, I have some cash flow, but I have no free time. I didn't think of how many hours this was going to be and how many VIP days and deep dive sessions I've given to all of these people. Like, it's so important to keep that in mind for now and longer term, like any and all short and long-term things that you offer have something. I love having templates. I have templates in the course that I'll share in a bit here. Um, but having something that you can track, this is what I've promised to people that I'm delivering on. Cause it's important that we are integrity with our word and the contracts and the things that we sell in our sales calls. It's so important to do that. Otherwise like ooh, bad energy, let's not talk about that at all. But you being like, okay, do I have that number of weekends in a year? If you're offering like VIP weekends, do you have that amount of time? Are you willing to do that? Or are you like, ooh, okay, when I look at my year and the vacation I want to do and any training or trips that you have, any time with family, like when you look at your calendar for the next six months or year, however long you'd like to plan, when you look at that, how many available weekends do you really have if you are giving like weekend intensives with clients? So then how much more valuable are those going to be? Because maybe you only really want to do one or two of those a month. Or maybe you're like, oh, I just want to do one of those every six months and like put a really high price tag on it. Like you get to choose how you utilize your time and kind of zoom out from the future you perspective so that the future you thanks you for what you're doing today instead of is like I fucking can't believe that I did this to myself this sucks and that is unfortunately a story that a lot of newer people have as they expand in their journey so I'm all about boundaries at the beginning and planning out how our life works and have that being the center of our business instead of trying to like kind of fit how we want our life to kind of sort of work around what we've over promised in our business. Um, okay. And then tuning back into my notes. Oh yeah. And also like, let yourself have time off. And I work majority with women. Isn't just a woman thing that feel bad when they're not doing something in their business. So have actual time in your calendar or kind of like in the run of a week, I like to see it more in the run of week where I tune in and I reflect and I'm like, okay, did this, is this how I wanted to spend these kind of like ranges of my calendar? And I even color code it. I'm like <laughs> super detail oriented. And I have it like Google calendar. That's like crazy looking. It has all these different colors. <laughs> so I'm able to like, look back and be like, okay, the bright yellow color is like my client hours and the like focused work tasks that I was doing in meetings and stuff like that. So then I can be like, okay, is that how I desire to be spending that percentage of my week. So I can next week choose to do something even better or next month, if my calendar is a little bit more busy, 
I get to block out time and I really recommend doing online calendars because our clients book through our online calendars. So blocking in time off ahead of time. So if you're like, I always want to have Thursday evenings off for dance class, put that in your calendar so that your people aren't booking you then. You get to build your business around the lifestyle that you're desiring and have the boundaries that you need to have that. And then you get to clearly communicate that with people. And I know that having boundaries and communicating them with others is like sometimes night and day difference feeling where it's like, well, yeah, like I would totally want to do all these things, but then what if I disappoint people or what if I piss people in my family off who used to have so much access to me or clients who want to re-enroll, but they're used to a different level of access to me than I will have at this price point at these levels of rates that I have now. So again, I want to go super deep into all of these things and talk forever and ever, which is why I'm going to have a bunch more masterclasses on this. Um, but there will be a ton more in the course around this. Cause I could literally talk about every single one of these sections. Like I'm looking at the time and I'm like, I need to move through these sections. Cause I want to spend hours and hours and hours on each section because I can, and they're all so, so, so important, but we'll open it up at the end for any like super pressing things. And you can come in future calls. I'm even potentially doing a hot seat edition where I don't really have any like planned content, but it will be like within these six gaps that people are experiencing and just like ask all your questions, get a ton of healings for it. Cause I want light workers to be rising right now, to be shining their light in the world. So we can all be the change and we can all course correct what is kind of going on in the world. Cause that'd be great. That'd be really great if the world was even better and happier and healthier and pleasurable and safe <laughs> and like environmentally friendly. Um, Okay, so looking at all the boundaries notes, I want to make sure I got those pieces in. Okay, so then the next piece is moving in your inspired action, doing the conscious 3D work. So not being that couch potato manifester who's just like, oh, I like did a visualization, it should happen to me now. It's like, well, yeah, you can do the conscious piece of writing down your ideal client list writing down your dream life. Like I love getting into those details with clients. And especially because I'm a reflector, I get to like amplify the things and be like, Ooh, do you want to tweak that? Do you want to say this? Cause this is actually where your energy wants it to be. And your human is saying this, like, you know, how sometimes I think Albert Einstein said that you can't solve a problem at the same level that you thought of it. So sometimes we're like, I don't want to be in debt. You don't want to put that on your like dream life list. Cause the universe doesn't hear don't. So it's just like debt is on your dream life list. We don't want that. So that's another superpower of mine. It's like, it's like bright neon signs to me when people, their soul is different than what their human is saying, where it's like, mm, it feels like your soul wants you to have this. And it's like, yes, this is what I wanted. I just like, didn't know how to like communicate that to the universe with my human words. So I love creating those lists with my clients. Um, and you can literally do this yourself and like write out your ideal client list and have it and look at it every day or every week, whatever feels good for you to like actually implement as a habit in your schedule to be like, these are the people I desire to be working with, to have your dream life list, to be like, okay, this is what I'm going for. You can even like read it out loud into your phone, into a recording device and have it play back to you. You can have it like super ninja, like linked to an alarm app. So that it just like automatically plays every day. So you have these pieces that are like the grounded conscious work also supporting you in your business. The part that tends to not feel as fun for people because they might not like looking at their money or doing templates is kind of what I was referring to before around templates. So I love reverse engineering. If you want this as your income goal for the year, if you want to get to your first six figures, if you want to have a 50K a year, whatever your unique this year goal is for your income, reverse engineering back to, okay, if this is 50K, 75K, 100K, whatever your goal is, 500K, 750K, whatever your goal is, reverse engineering it back down into what that is on average monthly. So you can be like, okay, how many private clients at what rates do I need? And sometimes just doing that, people are like, oh my gosh, I cannot do private clients for $500 a month because I would need so many people. Like that's basically impossible to get your 100K month, 100K year if you're charging $500 a month. Like 
you would burn yourself out with the number of human clients you would need to be working with to get that to that goal. So playing with those numbers is so crucial for our businesses because that tends to be the part that creatives don't want to do that visionaries don't really want to do is like look at the ground in numbers and like the templates that will actually get us there but it's so 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 important because then when you're looking at them you're like oh okay if i have x amount of clients at this rate then i can 100 percent get my 50k goal for the year or my 100k goal for the year whatever your goal is so that's what I mean by like the grounded 3D work and allowing yourself to do it in your unique inspired action steps. So I am against people who are like, this is the guru and the guru has ABC and ABC should work for every single human on the planet. That is not real. Like we are all so different and so unique. We have different human design types. We have different blood <laughs> types. Like there's like blood type diets. There's so many different ways that work for so many different humans. It's literally impossible to be like one, two, three should work for literally all of the population of human on earth. Like that's not real. So what we get to do is tune into our bodies, deepen the connection with our bodies, with our highest selves, with our higher power, if you call that God, creator, source energy, the universe, whatever word is the most resonant with you, you get to really tune in to what your best next step is and do that. And I found in my life and in my client's lives and in my friend's lives, moving in your divine inspired action step is so much more supportive than doing a random ABC thing from a cookie cutter mold or from like looking at someone else and being like, Ooh, shiny object over here. I should do this now. I should do that now. And having all like the shoulds that happen in our businesses sometimes that it's so much more important to be like, okay, what is actually my best next step and doing that thing and even breaking it down into really, really, really small parts that you actually, as a human being want to do the thing instead of looking at it and being like, how do I get $75,000 in the run of a year so that I can quit my full-time job? I don't know how to do that. Like that's such a big fucking thing. So it's like breaking it down, breaking it down, breaking it down. And then those baby steps accumulate into that big goal that you have. So I love talking about that and encouraging people not to compare themselves to other people or other people's journey or how long you've been doing it or how long you've been doing personal development versus X, Y, Z, other people in this industry to like really kind of get like even blinders on, like how horses have blinders. And it's like, this is your lane. This is your inspired action step. Cause we each have such unique divine soul callings on this planet. And if you like look at every type of tree, every type of fruit, every type of flower, like the world likes variety and uniqueness. And we need all of these different environments and ecosystems and parts and biodiversity to have a thriving planet. So it's so good that you have a different path than someone else. And can you own it? Can you not feel bad that you haven't hit that milestone as quickly as someone else did? Like, can you just move in your unique divine inspired action steps? That will support you moving forward. So that's super, super important. And I see in the chat, 200 clients, if you charge 500 a month, yeah, that is burnout level. That is not sustainable at all. If you made it a group, cool. <laughs> but 200 private clients will burn you the fuck out, especially if you're giving them any kind of like extra access to you, like just like, no, not supportive. And also, I didn't mention this earlier. I really invite you to have people in packages, even if you are a practitioner who's like, well, I just do Reiki and I should just do a one-off session for $75 or $111 or $222. Like really invite you to create packages and programs so that people are working with you for longer term. Cause then that's stable, sustainable income that's coming in instead of every single time you have to like re-enroll someone to do a next step or find a new human to do the thing. It's just like, it's really unsustainable. And in future masterclasses, I might even like get out some of my templates and show you like how easy it can be <laughs> to make six figures when you have certain rates for your private. Um, but yeah, it's like, I have so much to share and I'm so excited, which is why I'm like, doing this masterclass tonight because I was like I'm so excited to do increase your impact <laughs> so there will be more in the future and we'll go deeper into all of those pieces 
Um, but does that make sense? Like getting clear on these actual pieces that you have to do as a human, not have to, but like that is your actual like divine path. It's your unique soul path to grow your business, to grow as a human on this planet. Like that yours is different than other people's and you get to follow what yours is. All right. Um, awesome. So we went through all of the six pieces. Um, we missed a little bit at the beginning because of the technology. So I'm totally good with being over. So I am going to, for those of you who are feeling called to potential next steps, share my screen. And if you're feeling complete for the night, you can totally leave. That is feeling like the most pleasurable thing for you to do. But for those of you who are interested in going even deeper into all of these six gaps, into this healing energy, into the support that will get your business so much further and faster, so much quicker than doing it yourself. I would love to introduce you to the Increase Your Impact and Income course and reintroduce because I know some of you who are watching in live have done this before and are like considering doing it another round. So this is a six-week coaching and healing program that is created for coaches and healers who are ready for their next level. So we're going to go deeper into these six gaps that we were talking about tonight even more unconscious belief systems. There can be so many belief systems like I can't have that because or parental belief systems that you can't be an entrepreneur. It's not safe being an entrepreneur. You can't make so much money in this. Like literally so many stories, so many belief systems that are really important to be cleared. So you have the like energetic bandwidth to fucking do the actual tasks in your business without you just being like, I'm circling in these spirals or without you like, bashing your head up against a wall being like, I'm doing all of these things, but it's not working because I have an unconscious belief system that it won't work or that I don't deserve it. Like there's so many really fun, interesting ways that our like belief systems can come up. And I get super lit up and excited about this because it's like, oh yeah, we can just like find the belief system, clear it out. And then you're good. <laughs> um, we'll go deeper into visibility, into you being seen, showing up on social media and masterclasses, on podcasts, on whatever you're desiring to do as your next level and clearing out the throat chakra blocks and also the other body blocks that come up around it. Cause it literally is so easy to just clear out a bunch of different body blocks. And then it's like, oh yeah, that's not like literally holding you back anymore. Um, because sometimes like our nervous system is like really shut down around things. And it's like, we have to understand, okay, I'm a complex human who's running a business, who's being a spiritual entrepreneur. And like being a fucking entrepreneur is the biggest personal growth and development journey on the fucking planet, period. It's like, it will bring up so much of your stuff. So being able to clear out this stuff and give you more space can allow more money to come in and can allow you to feel even better in your everyday life. We go even deeper into up-leveling your money mindset, clearing out any and all unhealthy pieces or stories that have been playing out, scarcity belief systems, lack mentalities, all of that stuff, expand your capacity to receive. We go deeper into how you can really be in harmony with your masculine and feminine energies and healing whatever piece you might have some wounding around. I've noticed a lot of my clients, especially women, will have like really adverse reactions to inputting some of their masculine energy that's burnt them out in the past, or if they have like really unhealthy stuff happening in their relationship or in their dating world right now, like that will all kind of like bleed over. And they're like, Oh, I don't trust masculine energy. Oh, I really hate structure. Like there's a fair amount of ground that gets to be healed, even in just one of the energies alone, let alone harmonizing them together. So we can go deeper into all of that. Um, we also go into moving from outdated boundaries to having up-leveled boundaries that are clearly communicated so that you're in your next level self and you get to be your full identity as this level version of yourself who has the life that you are desiring and the lifestyle that you're desiring and the hours that you're wanting to be working. All of that is super possible. And then we also move into all of the fun conscious 3D pieces that we can do in alignment with your soul, in alignment with your divine inspired action steps 
so that you're not just doing something ABC cookie cutter model because that's the next module in a program. You get to tune into what is actually supportive for me and I get to support you in going inward. Like that is such an awesome thing about being a reflector and being a mirror. I get to be like, what is actually showing up inside of you and help you be curious about what's happening, help you be more guided toward the path that is actually in alignment for you. And that's what's got my clients like amazing results. When we did this, the first round that we did increase your impact and income, um, it was a six week course, but I ended up going for like seven weeks and having all these bonuses. And this is also um, a digital course that's included in this offer. The first round that we did, literally everyone who set an intention at the beginning got their actual outcome within the seven weeks. It was fucking amazing. People who wanted to show up more online were doing it. They were posting selfies in showing up more online and being excited about it and like seeing other people in person and then being featured on like other people's platforms, like in local areas. Cause this was like back when it was okay to be around people and we're getting back to the space where we're allowed to be around people. Um, so many awesome things happened with that. People sold their first thousand dollar package. People had their first 3k month, their first 5k month, like literally everyone who set an intention in that period of time who showed up to all of the calls and was doing their homework, got their intentions. So like, this is such a powerful little portal to be in, in the six week container. So here's what you get. So you get all of the video lessons of that first run of it. So the digital increase your impacted income course, which had six live modules, plus a bunch of bonus videos that I did both live in hot seat and also in like people's questions around what's the benefit of doing private versus group. Like there was a bunch of little questions that people had over and over again. So I started making little modules on it and just included all of those as bonus videos that you can literally just like scroll the resources and get exactly what you need. Um, so the way that we do this live version of the program is that you watch the module and then we come to our call together live and we get to go even deeper into it. Cause like you're seeing me here, I'm like talking as fast as I can and getting as deep as I can into like your roots and like the biggest things that are holding you guys back. Cause I want you to like, even if you just do this masterclass and never see me again in the rest of your life, I want this shit to be cleared for you so that you can be creating the impact in the world that you're here to. Like that makes my heart so happy. So I'm so excited to go even deeper and it's so great to have recorded modules because you can watch the recorded parts be like, oh, I have like some sticky, sticky stuff around this or, ooh, I also have a limiting belief system around that or like, holy shit, like I didn't realize that this thing was holding me back. So then in our live calls, we get to go even deeper in those exact pieces that are holding you back, clearing them out and moving forward. So it's like we get to go even deeper because you watch the pre-recorded modules beforehand. So you get group coaching and healing calls every single week for six weeks for 90 minutes, where we're going to dive deep into the limiting belief systems, holding you back the stories, the 3d work that is supportive for you. So I'll share some templates and different things that will be most supportive for you in growing and expanding your business. And then we also have a Facebook community to get together, which is so amazing. And now that I'm like five years into doing this and I've been running groups basically since the beginning that I've been doing this full time, I tend to attract the most amazing humans who are like soul family to me and soul family to each other who end up like exchanging with each other, doing testimonials for each other, liking each other's posts, like literally years later, people who like still hang out and even meet in person. Like I attract awesome humans who just totally fit with each other. So you get to be in this incredible, the incredible community for support. Now I'm going back to like reading a thing versus just being <laughs> in flow. So you get the community for support and accountability. So in the group, you get to say this week, I'm doing this for homework. And if two days later, you're like beating your head against the wall and you're like, I can't see how I can do this. This is so frustrating. I don't know how I get to support you in the Facebook community and other people get to cheer you on and offer their support as well. So that you're creating that momentum in between the calls. You are so supported and we get to celebrate your wins. That is like my favorite thing to do, celebrating people's wins because it's so important to celebrate the wins along the journey, the really big ones and all of the progress milestones so that our human is like, oh, okay, failure isn't bad. It's awesome. Here's a learning lesson I had from doing this this way. So I love celebrating wins in a group. Um, so you get private support from me and the support from other people in there. And um, 
you can also do lives of like a couple minutes and then I can do Facebook lives back if it's like it's not really something I can just type out really quick you also um sometimes have things where it's like ooh, this is like a bigger thing and it's also coming up in the energy of the group so I'll do lives that are anywhere from two minutes to five minutes to 10 minutes to an hour sometime where I'm just like, this is super big. Let's just clear this out. I'm very intuitive as a coach. So I'll just really like zone into what's happening and give the support that's needed again with in my boundaries, which that group is available for support Monday through Friday. Then here's what you can expect. So if you love details and you're like, I need to know more about exactly what I'm getting in this group so I can be like, okay, these are the structure pieces, understanding that it's also intuitive and it will come up with exactly what is a challenge in your world. That moment is your next desire and you want support with. This is the framework. This is how the weeks will go. And we have free space of like that feminine energy to deal with what exactly is coming up for you. So you're not like in a cookie cutter mold at any point in time in the first week call, you can be like, I have all this shit around debt coming up and I'm so freaking out about money. And I want to just like give everything on a discount and I'm freaking out. Even though module one has a ton of stuff around throat chakra blocks, you can get help with your money mindset because it's all very flowy. It's not like one is in a silo and the other doesn't connect to it. Like things are holistic. And a lot of us are practitioners who get that. So I work with the holistic human that you are in your business. So if you love details, I'll be, oh, I can even pop this in the chat now so that people can have it later. Is the chat gonna open while I'm in a screen share? Yes. Okay, so that's the sales page for anyone who wants to read all these details later, knowing exactly what all the recorded modules are and how we're going to be formatting the six week flow together. So we go deeper into all of the pieces that we went into today and anything else that's coming up for you within the context of increasing your impact and income. And I love bonuses and rewarding my people for being hell yes, for being all about this work who want to start now. So this program will start officially in June, but I'm giving you some bonuses to work on ahead of time if you so desire. And it's not a prerequisite. You don't have to do these workshops or any homework at any point in time. You get to work and flow with this as you desire. But when I did it the first round, I gave people manifesting 101 and clearing money blocks 101. And they like went so far from it. They were just like, I'm doing clearing money blocks for my third time. Like they were just like clearing the shit out. So in the manifesting 101 workshop, it allows you to get really clear on some of the grounded 3D pieces that you might already be missing in your world around like having a dream life list or your life vision statement, like getting super clear of what you're moving towards. Because when you like make an order to the universe, like, hey, I would like my pepperoni pizza to be here in 30 minutes, that's clear. Like if you order pizza like that, that's super clear. But a lot of people are like acting like their relationship with the universe is like, hi, like, so I'd maybe like pizza or like, or like a turkey dinner. Like maybe if you like, don't mind, could there be cheese on the pizza? If you like, give me a pizza, like, please could be maybe give me a pizza and like, whatever you like, want to give it to me, like, that'd be fine. Like I would want it sooner than later. Cause I'm really hungry and I have like bills due, but like, whenever you want to like give me pizza or clients, I'm totally fine with that. Like that is such an unhealthy relationship with the universe. So I really love getting people into this manifesting workshop so that they can be in a higher frequency with what they're desiring for their life, for their business, for the structure of it, for their clients, like that they can get super clear. And I love these lists. Like I've had people put like multiple pages of lists that they've like written out or typed up into the Facebook feed. And then I'm like, Ooh, these are the energetic upgrades of that where you don't want to say like, Hey universe, I don't want that. Like we talked about earlier, you get to be in the energetics of, Hey universe, I desire a six figure business. I desire 75 K this year, like whatever you're actually in alignment with as a soul to have your human actually be calling that in that you can be in that raised frequency to allow yourself to receive all of this. So that's a great place to start. And then also the clearing money blocks workshop 
literally was channeled through me in my like first year of going full time because I was so against doing anything money related because I was leaving the accounting world and I'm like no all about self-care and pleasure and all the happiness that's what I was doing but then the universe was like no this is super fucking needed so I channeled it it was super awesome literally all your shit around money around debt around your spending your saving habits all the shit the negative energy the emotions the past stuff the old stories the current stories that you're running unconsciously like it gets to just clear all that away from you And it's done in like blocked sections. So you can come back to it over and over again. I've had clients privately and in group do this multiple times and then like make money afterwards. And they're like, this is so genius. Or just going back to particular sections being like, I hate that I have debt in this moment. And I'm going to like go and do the debt section again. It releases the layers off so that you can have more open space. And the universe doesn't like void space. Then you can choose what you want to put back into it, which is like love and money, and clients, and health, and your ideal desires. We're clearing out the old to put the new in. Just like if I wanted to put like a smoothie in my water bottle right now, I would empty out the water. Like you want to clear out the old to put the new in. It's just like how this 3D world works. So the investment is regular 1,111, but right now we're in pre-sale, which I'm super excited about. So it's right now an 888 investment. So you save 222 because angel numbers are awesome. And we're in the pre-sale period until Thursday, June 2nd. So when you join, you can get so many awesome things. So right now, if you go to my site, literally the digital increase your impact and income course and all the bonus content that's included in that is 1,111. You also get the six live group coaching and healing calls, you get the community support, plus you get clearing money blocks, plus you get manifesting 101, which all totals $2,369. But when you choose to be a hell yesterday, it's only 888. So you save a ton of fucking money. And if you do it during pre-sale, you save even more than when it's going to go up to 1,111. (coughs) So This is all the things. Tells you more about me, which you guys know. And then you can see all the details around when the calls are. Okay. I'm just gonna have a quick lodge singe because I'm going to allow my body to have what it needs. I've recently recovered from COVID. So every once in a while, I have a little coughing thing, but I'm going to live without that so that I can keep talking. I literally had like a massage earlier today and he was like, whoa, a bunch of my stuff had like gone in from like all the coughing my body was doing when I had COVID. So we're recovered, we're healing, we're thriving. So the Facebook group will officially open on June 13th to support you. And then our live calls will also begin on that day on Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific, 8 Atlantic. If you have other time zones, I can probably do the time zone math for you because I'm so used to being in the Atlantic time zone. But you can also Google what your time zone thing is related to that. There's all the details around the group. And then if you'd love to hear some client success stories, we have a bunch of them, a ton of them, video case studies, (coughs) excuse me, all the things. So that is the program. I'm super excited to be sharing it. And I did put it in the chat here. (coughs) I'll do the Facebook live once I'm done here. But does anyone have any questions, questions about the program, questions or like things you want to get healed that were in the six gaps? And you can raise your hand, you put it in the comments. Yeah, and you're welcome. Thank you so much for showing up. I love seeing your beautiful face. Have a I got a night. question. Um, yes the 27th mm-hmm. are we going to be are you going to be back and i'm going to the 
the thing out in Colorado, mm -hmm. that ends like Sunday night. Or right. So this is on Mondays. Right. So will you be back mm -hmm. in time? Okay. We'll yes. Okay. And I love to travel. I like traveled for four months out of the year last year. Like I like now that things are like opening up more. <laughs> I get to be in my travel adventures again, and I'm totally used to being traveling, being in Airbnbs or hotels, doing live calls, and that doesn't phase me at all to be traveling, doing all the things, okay. and supporting my amazing clients. And I'm so excited that you're going to that. I'm so excited to be going to the coach event and pie. Any other questions? Or things you guys want help healing. Also check in to Facebook, the stream that we have going over there. Awesome. So for all the Facebook people, thanks for sharing how you're feeling. How the clearings felt. Thought it was me, Ella. <laughs> cool. I love that it's resonating. So, if no one has any questions on Facebook either, then we can integrate all of the changes. I can also offer you loves a general healing for any and all other areas of your body, life, and business that are ready to be healed right now. And fill you up with your higher powers, unconditional love, compassion, peace, and prosperity. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And take some deep cleansing breaths, really allowing that to integrate with pleasure into your body. And I definitely recommend drinking water. We cleared a ton of stuff tonight. So I definitely recommend supporting your body, listening to your body if you need like a nap or to move your body or to ground your body on the earth, whatever you're feeling called to, you get to support it with all the love after doing all of the clearings. And I really want to acknowledge everyone for being willing to look at the gaps that are currently showing up between where you're at and where you're wanting to be right now. Like that takes so much energy and dedication. And I love that I tend to attract really awesome seekers who are like, yes, let's do this work. Let's like clear out the old and make space for the new and like be the change we want to see in the world. So sending everyone so, so, so much love. And I'd super appreciate it if you have someone in your world who's a coach, healer, light worker, who's like struggling in their business, who like needs support that you're like, Ooh, maybe they have some of these gaps going on. I really recommend sharing this with them. It's going to be free for a limited time. So you can send the link to them and they can get access to all of the things. And for future masterclasses, we'll make sure me and my VA that everyone can get into the Zoom call so we can keep clearing the old things. And I know that some people had sent me messages um, that they were just going to catch the replay. So if you catch the replay and want to come to the next live one, we'll put in the dates um, <clears throat> on my social media and emails and stuff like that. So that if you want to come live to get stuff cleared, we can do all of that. So if we're all good for the tonight, I'll send everyone so, so, so much love, big hugs, lots of love and light, and thank you for being the change that you wish to see in the world. I so appreciate you and all of your bright light. You are so welcome. Bye.